In this video, I'm going to tell you eight reasons why it is not a good idea to buy email lists. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel where I find different ways to help you make more money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if you're interested in different tips and tricks on how to make more money online. All right, so as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, I am actually going to tell you eight reasons why it is a bad idea to purchase an email list. Now, if you know anything about me, you know anything about this channel, I talk extensively of the about the importance of email marketing. Um, I talk about how email marketing actually converts at twice the rate as normal marketing or other types of marketing in addition i talk about um, it takes between 5 and 12 contact points before someone will become a buyer building an email list is critical for your success to make money online or become an affiliate marketer a successful affiliate marketer anyway but don't go about it the wrong way and the wrong way is to buy email lists um, there are things called like solo ads don't do it just just take your time create some content and build your email list slowly these are the eight reasons why you do not want to buy an email list number one uh, and most importantly it may violate compliance rules now affiliate marketers and online marketers are governed by a set of rules both uh, national if you're here in the United States and international uh, especially in Europe there are some rules called the general data protection regulation uh, these are rules that were recently released by the United Kingdom and, and Europe. And, and there are very particular rules about what you can and cannot do as an online marketer. And one of those rules that you may be violating, depending on the type of co type of list that you buy and where you get it from, is this GDPR. So if you want to stay legal, you want to avoid jail time, you want to avoid fines, do not buy a list. So that's first and foremost. Second is, quite frankly, buying an email list is not worth the time and money that you're spending think about the amount of time that you'll have to that, that goes into buying an email list you buy the list or you find someone that's willing to sell the list you you buy it you've got to integrate that list into your 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 opt-in or your autoresponder or whatever you've got going on you put that in there and then you've got to create content where you've got to actually warm up the customer the good thing about building your own email list is your customers are already warm they actually know who you are they have uh, they, they like you they have um, they're interested in whatever you're talking about buying or selling and so uh, these are things that you have to go back and do you have to warm up the customer you kind of have to introduce yourself and how you got their contact information and people are quite frankly going to be a little bit skeptical skeptical if a guy named Alston Godbolt is just emailing you out of the blue so it the time that it takes to warm up the customer and, and spend money, you could spend money on actual advertisements. You could actually spend time creating content like a YouTube video or a podcast or whatever your, your, your platform is. So it's just not worth it. So that's number two. Number three is you haven't built a relationship with the, the people you're emailing. As I just mentioned, um, you are, go you're getting these leads. And they're going to be cold leads. You're going to have to introduce yourself. People are going to probably be turned off again by someone like me just randomly emailing. Um, you don't even really know their interest. You they they could be interested in the product or service that you're recommending. Maybe maybe not. You haven't built that relationship. And building a relationship is key to making money online or even offline. Uh, most money is made through a relationship. Most people don't just buy off of the first whim, off of the first idea or suggestion. You have to build a relationship and cultivate that relationship to have a returning customer. So that's number three. You haven't built a relationship with the people that you're emailing, which leads me to number four. If enough people mark your emails as spam, they can be sent into the spam folder. Now, this can be a problem for the, the email list that you purchased and the people that you have gotten organically or quote unquote the right way. One of the issues is, is let's say Gmail, for example, if they notice a certain percent of your emails are being marked as spam, they're just going to mark every email that you're sending from that email address as spam. And then you can't actually reach the people that you've worked hard to get and cultivate. And so you don't want to lose the the, the opportunities or leads that you've already created just because you wanted to buy some leads that may or may not even convert. So the worst thing that could happen for you is your, your, your emails could be marked as spam. And that actually leads into number five. This could actually create problems with your email service provider. Again, just like Gmail, um, the people that are that are your, your email service provider are actually monitoring the amount of emails that are getting spam marked as spam, and you know the even calls or feedback that they're getting. And so you could actually, quite frankly, be kicked off of your email service provider if if 
people are realizing that you are sending out spam content, you could be kicked off of your email service provider or your autoresponder, your opt-ins, whatever you've got going on, because people are marking your content as spam. And so you definitely don't want to do that. That, that can create a huge problem for you down the road. It can be more expensive. Um, it, it can take more time than, than if you just built it the right way. And so that's something that you want to be um, wary of as well. The next reason is low conversion rate. Now, ideally, as an affiliate marketer or an email marketer, you probably want a conversion rate of like 10% or, or, or higher, 15, 10 to 15% ideally. Now, if you are emailing cold leads that people have no idea who you are, they don't know where you come from necessarily, those leads are going to go from maybe 10% to 1% or 2% where you barely make the money back that you spent. And so again, this all comes down to money. Are you willing to waste your money on something like cold leads that are going to convert lower where you could do something else like a paid advertisement where you could get people to your email list organically and then you could go from there and actually convert a little bit higher. So think about it that way. What's going to be more cost effective for the money that you're spending. For example, it doesn't really cost that much to run ads with, with Facebook or, or even YouTube, which is Google. But again, you, you've got to weigh the pros and cons there. So that is number six, a low conversion rate. Number seven, think about it. If this person is willing to sell you their email address or their email list, how many other people have they given or sold this email list to? Probably dozens, if not hundreds. This list has probably been picked over. Uh, in addition, if someone is willing to give you emails, they probably have realized that these people aren't valuable. Um, they're, they haven't maybe responded to an email in a long time. Uh, maybe they're a little bit shady and they've, they've opted out, but they've still kept the email address. Um, just think, the, these the, if someone's willing to give you the uh, email list, uh, regardless if it's five people or 5,000 people, it's been picked over, people have gone through it, they've squeezed the, the juice out of the orange until there's basically nothing left. So you, you wanna be a little bit wary of that. Um, some places will tell you the number of times that the, the email list has been purchased. I necessarily wouldn't go by that. Um, I would just assume that each email list has been purchased multiple times, dozens if not hundreds of times, so I would definitely stay away from that. Number eight, um, it can actually reduce or lower your reputation or, or brand. So think about it like this. If you purchase an email list from Joe Schmo and, and you um, brand all of your emails, hey, Alston Godbolt or AlstonGodbolt.com, and then they see you on, on YouTube, maybe they're not going to click on your thumbnail or maybe they're not going to read that blog post because they associate you with a spammer. They associate you with a guy that somehow purchased my name from somebody else and now they're trying to sell me on something. This can greatly reduce your reputation and have a negative impact on your brand. So definitely if you can, I would recommend stay away, stay away from purchasing email lists or mailing lists because really there's more cons than pros. Best case scenario, you get maybe a 3% conversion. If you buy 500 leads, 3%, Again, that, that may not be worth it, especially for the price that you pay. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. It'll teach you everything that I know about affiliate marketing. In addition, you will get a free email marketing guide. If you're just getting started with affiliate marketing, know that email marketing and affiliate marketing actually go hand in hand, and you want to be very good at both. Uh, a very good affiliate marketer is a good email marketer and vice versa. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning with email marketing, uh, the conversion rates are higher. You have cultivated a list of people that know, like, and trust you. You can actually retarget these people with multiple offers uh, throughout the year. And again, it takes between five and 12 touch points before a lead becomes a buyer. So definitely uh, get on board, get this free email marketing guide to get started with affiliate marketing and take your affiliate marketing game to the next level.